God has no respect of persons. That's you, friend. God has no respect of you. That isn't left unless you accepted his son. Peter continues saying, but in every nation, he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. How do you work righteousness? You have to accept his son, the word which God sent into the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, because he is the Lord of all. That word, I say, ye know. And it was published through all of Judea. It began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached. That baptism was a baptism of repentance. You need to repent and believe on Jesus Christ to be saved. Peter continues saying, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. You probably have heard of the miracles that Jesus did. You are a witness to them, and we are witnesses of all things in which he did in the land of the Jews in Jerusalem, whom they slew and hanged on a tree. This was because God wanted that. God wanted to save you. He sent his son to save you. His son died for your sins, your sins which you openly do. God raised him up on the third day, and he showed him openly, not to all the people, but unto the witnesses before God, even to us who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify that it is he who was ordained by God to be the judge of the quick and the dead. Are you ready for the judgment? Are you ready to stand before Jesus this day? You may be. You may be today. You don't know. You don't know what day it is you'll die. To him, give all the prophets witness. And through him, his name, whosoever believes in him shall have remission of sins. It is that simple. Simply believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you can have remission of your sins and you will not end up in hell. You will not end up in eternal suffering. It's just that simple, friends. Amen.